Hi everybody, it's Scott here and welcome to the next video. In this one now we're going to give ourselves a main menu uh, where we can select our level or we can actually quit our game completely. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a brand new scene. We're going to go file and we're going to hit new scene and we're going to make our changes, hit yes. And now we have a brand new blank default level with a camera. Currently the camera is looking in this direction. The best way to do main or kind of main menus, typically you'll have some sort of an image in the background. So we're going to go to game object, create other, and we're going to create ourselves a plane. We're going to center our plane in the grid, like so. And under its scale, I'm going to type 16 on X, and I'm going to type 9 on Z. The reason being is that this is now a 16 by 9 uh, image or plane. So whenever you're making yourselves a texture, make sure it is 16 by 9. I'm not going to provide an image. Um, you can feel free to play around with that in your own time. For the time being, I'm just going to get my camera and set that to 0, 0, 0. And what I'm going to do is, under resources, I'm just going to make myself a material. I'm going to call this M underscore uh, main menu. going to throw that into the materials folder and I'm going to give this main menu a simple color and then I'm going to apply it. So any kind of image will do and all you do is you just import it as a texture and inside the main menu material you just load in the texture. So let's see, let me just see if we have any textures. We'll probably just use this one for the time being. And we can tile that by 10 by 10, 10 by 10. So feel free to find any sort of image you like and apply it. And then you just adjust your camera so that it fits in the scene, like so. It's gonna to go to my gizmos. Let's wait for that to load. It's gonna show my gizmos really big here. And then what we want to do is we want, for our buttons, we simply just want to use some 3D text. So I'm gonna to go to uh, game object, create other, and I'm going to create some 3D text. I'm going to change the anchor to middle center and then I'm going to center this like so and pull it across. Pull that fairly in front of the camera. I'm going to change my font size to 1024. Pull that back. It's a bit big. And I'm going to change the size. I'm just going to scale that down. And I'm going to move it up. Okay. I'm going to call this my start button. So that'll be your start game button. I'm going to change the text to start. Might use capitals. Start game. I'm going to change the font size to 512. Make it a bit bigger, like so. I'm not a big fan of that color, so again, I'm going to change it to a yellowish color. Ooh, that's horrible. Find something that looks good. Meh, yellow might be fine. Okay, now we need to add what's called a collider. We need to add a component under physics box collider because we're going to be able to click on this button and it's going to bring us to the next uh, to the next level. I'm going to press control and D and I'm going to rename this to quit. I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to call this quit. Like so and I'm just going to go to my box collider. I'm just going to remove the box collider and make a new one because it will automatically size it. So we have a start game and a quit button in our uh, in our menu. So now let's go and uh, use script this. So we're going to press Control and U, and we're going to make a brand new uh, graph, and we're going to save it. We're going to call this uh, main menu script, and in this case we are going to assign it to the master game object. This is going to apply it to our uh, main menu scene. 
Now what's really important is that we do actually save this as a scene. I'm going to save this in our scenes folder and call this um, main menu, like so. Now, the next thing we're going to do is set up the logic. So back into use script, and we're going to have a update event. So on update, what we want to do is we want to have, sorry, my bad, not a global update. We actually want an input event because we're going to be clicking our mouse on the button and then it's going to flick to our next level. So we're going to have an input event and we're going to have an input event filter. So what we want to do is on event or input event, we want to filter it to typically mouse uh, zero. So I'm just going to keep hitting M until I get to the mouse. Mouse zero is your left mouse button. And whenever it's pressed up, we want to load level. So I'm going to type in load, like so. Now I'm not going to plug it up just yet because we actually need something in the middle here. The level name, mine is called test. It's the worst naming convention ever. You just find that under your scenes. And also, I'm going to copy and paste this. Sorry, I'm going to type in quit. And we want application quit. Or sorry, just quit on its own. So whenever we also press it on the second button, it's going to quit out of our game completely. So with that, we now need to set up some sort of way of detecting where our mouse is, if our mouse is actually on this button. And the easiest, well, one of the ways of doing it is by using a Raycast. So we're going to type in Raycast. And we want to choose Raycast from Mouse Cursor. Please don't choose the 2D option um, because that's for 2D games. We want to choose Raycast from Mouse Cursor. And we're going to plug that after the input up. So after we release our mouse, it's going to do a Raycast and check to see where our mouse was or is, sorry. The camera is our main camera, so we're going to drag that in. We're going to drag it in as a camera variable. And plug that up. And we're just going to do this for the first button here. So we do need to specify which button is which, and we're just going to use layers for this. Kind of uh, similar to what we've done in the last example. So I'm going to click on the Start Game button. I'm just going to use the layer called um, Ignore Raycast. Or we can actually add layers, why not? And um, we can add one called start btn for button. Or I'm just going to call it start. And this is quit. So we've made two brand new layers. I'm going to go back into U script. And we're going to say uh, layer mask start. So it's only going to look to see if our mouse is over the start button. If it is obstructed, then we want to load level. So if it's obstructed and we pressed up, then it's going to load that level. Otherwise, I'm just going to copy those and paste them. If we released our mouse and it draws a ray cast and it's going to layer mask to the quit button. So if it obstructs the quit button, then we're going to quit our application. Now, one thing to bear in mind, folks, is that because we are in the Unity editor, this quit function won't actually work because you can't quit out of the level while playing a game in the editor. This also applies to the web applications. However, if you're on PC or um, mobile devices, the quit function will uh, work. So with that, we're going to save this. Oh, I thought I saved this as a as the main manuscript. I'm just going to go file save as main manuscript. I'm just going to save over that and hit yes. That was a bit strange. That's just going to compile and I'm just going to double check that my script is applied. Somehow I got two of them now, so I'm just going to remove one of them. Like so. And I'm going to hit play. So now if I click anywhere, nothing's going to happen. But if I click on start game, nothing happens. <laughs> Let me just double check I've done everything properly here. Uh, start game. I didn't actually assign my layers. So this is typical when you hit add layer and then we forget to actually 
apply the layer. So that's the one thing I didn't do. So that layer needs to be set at the start. For some strange bug, it disappears. Don't worry about that. And hit quit. And hit play. And the object is still there. So if I hit start game, um, it will start game. Now we do have one issue here. And what's happening is that we don't actually have the levels added to our build settings. So what we do is we hit file and build settings and we actually need to put our levels in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand our scenes. We're going to drag in first our main menu and then our test straight after. I'm going to click X and hit play. And I'm going to hit anywhere in the game. It's not going to do anything. If I hit quit, it will quit if it's inside um, a console or a, the PC build. However, if I hit start game, it will indeed load up our next level. Okay, and with that folks, that is our, um, that is our game really, um, in terms of prototype staging. Um, we have made our main menu, so we can now access the main menu and we also have a HUD. Um, in the next section, I'm going to do some bonus, um, bonus clips where we do a bit of bug tweaking and um, tweaking the camera, things like graphics and some audio um, fixes. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next section. Thank you.